स्टार कंपनी ने इन्वेंटर से चलने वाला एसी को बाजार में लाया है ब्लू स्टार वी आर एफ फोर्थ प्लस के नाम से एसी को इन्वर्टर से जोड़ा है मेड इन इंडिया मेड फॉर इंडिया का नाम दिया है मीडिया से बातचीत करते हुए एग्जीक्यूट टेल मी दैट आई हैव इन्वर्टर सिस्टम ए सिस्टम इन माई हाउस सो आई एम नॉट वरी अबाउट पावर गोइंग But the fact is that when the power goes in, the system will not work. But the number of people are buying inverter, I think, believing that without power it will run. No. In footprint, uh, it was very clear that we have factories only in west and north, and therefore we wanted to have a factory in south because more than 55 percent of our sales is have coming from the south. Number one. Number two is that there is a logistics cost on room air conditioners, which is which constitute around six percent. By moving the factory to south, we can go ahead and save some three to four percent. We almost finalized a facility in Sri City. At that point of a time, on the Pradesh bifurcation issue started. There was an uncertain period for about uh, nine months or so. So we were worried that what will happen, etc., etc. We dragged our feet, but in the meanwhile, prices have gone up. That's different. The then we were tempted by all the Pradesh will get some special package. There are going to be some great announcements that are going to be made. Then Prime Minister's make in India when it came, the number of our board members said there are going to be massive incentive for make in India. Then it came to GST. It may sound as I am giving you an excuse, but I am telling you the truth, honestly. When GST came in, there are still confusion with regard to the state and central GST, and this central GST is not variable, and it is going to remain for how much period is one issue. And imported products may be cheaper in certain categories in the GST regime because you know they have said the special ex custom duty SCD can be vatable. So far, it was not vatable. It will become vatable. Now uh, the then the state governments of late have started when some clarity was there with regard to constitution amendment bill on GST. Including your Telangana and all the Pradesh government, state portion of the GST up to 70 to 80 percent you can retain. In other words, I sell whatever units I sell in all the Pradesh, the state GST goes to the state government. 70 to 80 percent can be retained. This some proposal floated by one government. Therefore, Punjab is saying, Haryana is saying, everybody is saying, starting beginning to say. Now. I am sure you are all very intelligent. You would have understood the GST. The real beneficiary is the consuming state, not the manufacturing state. You are all aware of this principle. Now, no government can go and offer any more incentive for the simple reason: the money is not coming to the money is going to the consuming state, the state, uh, the collection, right? In GST. The final point where the revenue will come is the consuming state. That is why Varisa, West Bengal, Uttar Pradesh are all supporting GST bill. Good manufacturing states like Telangana, Andhra Pradesh, Tamil Nadu, Gujarat, Maharashtra are likely to be losers. So, in this context, the incentive scheme packages announcement there is some confusion. Now we have uh, the we have the options in Telangana. We have options in. On the Pradesh, which location got delayed for many months? Now we are in advanced stage, and by October some decision should be taken, at least with regard to acquiring the land. This is one story big.